Oh, hello there. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the Rumble YouTube channel. I'm Jadine from the social media team, and today I'm gonna be creating this rosy, glowy makeup look using our new jelly collection. So if you wanna see how I created it, keep on watching. First things first, I'm gonna clip my hair back so that I can get everything away from my face, have a blank canvas. So I'm gonna be starting off with the Stay Matte Concealer. First off, going in with the lighter shade, which is shade Linen. And I'm just gonna go around my under eyes just to brighten things up, you know, it's an early morning. Then I'm gonna go in with shade Shell. I'm having a really good skin day today, so I'm not gonna be going in with any foundation today, just covering up any spots so that I have a nice blank canvas for my makeup look. All right guys, so that's the finished look. I hope you enjoy, thanks so much. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go in with my beauty sponge and just blend everything out. All right, so now that my face is done, I'm actually gonna jump over to eye and then just wrap up the look with the rest of my face and lips. So next, I'm going to go in with the Brow Pro Micro Pen, and I'm just gonna define my brows a little bit. This is a felt tip brow pen, so it really helps to create brow-like hairs with the really fine tip. So I just really like to go in on the inner part of my brows, right here, closest to my nose, just to give it a little bit of extra definition. And then right over by the bridge and the arch, just so that I can fill out any sparse areas that I may have. To make sure my eyeshadow stays in place all day, I'm gonna start off with the Magnify's Eye Primer. I'm just gonna put this all over my lid. All right, next up, I'm going to use the Magnify's Crimson Edition eyeshadow palette. Next, I'm going to use this really shimmery, rosy shade right here and just put that all over my lid. So next up, I'm going to go in with this bright pink fuchsia color and just go in and blend out the edges. She is bold and bright, so we're just gonna diffuse it a little bit with a clean brush. I can put this thing down, down right? I'm like, <laughs> Okay, so now to wrap up my eyeshadow, I'm gonna actually take the eye brush that comes with the Magnifies palette. I love using this for my outer V because it's really, really small, so it's really great for details. So I'm going to use this dark terracotta shade here. Almost forgot, last but not least, I'm gonna take the lightest shade in the palette and just put that in my brow bone and inner corner. Now that the eyeshadow's done, I'm going to use the Wonder Ink Felt Tip Eyeliner to add a nice little wing to my eye. So I'm just pushing the felt tip all along my lash line to make sure that there are no spaces between my lashes. So all you see is a really crisp, black line all along my upper eyelid. I'm gonna do that to both of my eyes and then I like to go in and do the wing. This eyeliner is also really buildable, so if you need to go back in and cover up any mistakes, it's not gonna flake off or get really clumpy like other eyeliners. No tea. <laughs> Now to wrap up my eyeliner, I'm gonna take the Scandalize Waterproof Gel Pencil in Nude and put in in my waterline. And this just helps to brighten up my eyes a little bit, make me look more awake. So this is the finished eye look. I'm just gonna add some mascara, but this is really it. I really love how this turned out. I'm going to use the Scandalize Volume On Demand Waterproof Mascara all over my lashes. I really love using a waterproof mascara personally because I have stick straight lashes that really can't hold a curl, but the waterproof mascara keeps them lifted and curled and really nice looking throughout the day. Okay, so now I'm done with my lashes and it's time to move on to face and lip. So I'm gonna use all of the new jelly products to do my face. Starting off with the bronzer, this is shade Paradise. And we're just gonna put this 
um, underneath our cheekbones. So I like to apply this with my fingers and then blend it out for the most natural look around my jawline so that I can create a nice little jaw for myself. Next, I'm going to go in with the Jelly Blush. This is in the shade Peach Punch. And again, I'm going to use my fingers to just blend this into my skin. So first, I just put a couple of dots on my cheekbones, and then I just use my fingers to blend it all out. And this just gives you a nice little flush that doesn't look too powdery or thick. It just leaves a nice natural finish. And last tip is I'm going to take just a little bit and put it over the bridge of my nose. I love the look of just putting a little bit over the bridge of my nose so that I look like I've been in the sun even though I haven't been in the sun in a couple of months. <laughs> I just love how like cute and flush it looks when you put it right over your nose. They look cute. Cute flush. Cute flush. All right, last step with the face is the jelly highlighter. This is my favorite shade. It's popping bottles. It's a really gorgeous champagne color. So again, I'm just gonna put a little bit. A little goes a long way. Just a little bit on the bridge of my nose. a little bit on the tip, and my Cupid's bow. Last step, I'm just gonna put a little bit of gloss on. This is my favorite Stay Glossy lip gloss shade. It's down to gloss. I'm just gonna put this on my lips to finish off the look. All right, and that's the finished look. Okay, everybody, this is the finished rosy, glowy look. I love how it turned out, so I hope you do too. If you like how this turned out and you like this video, give it a thumbs up, please. <laughs> please love me. Please. <laughs> please. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to the Rimmel YouTube channel. Follow me at OJDean and follow us on the Rimmel Instagram, and we can chat there. Until then, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.